Hello friends welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you how to create this animation in Canva. So without wasting time let's get started. I will start by creating a new document. For the purpose of this video, I will use TikTok video size. Let's use a ready-made template from Canva. You can use your own designs. I will use the template so that I can quickly show you how to create the animation I showed you earlier in the start of this video. Let's use this one, and then click on apply all three pages. All the designs will be automatically applied on my canvas as separate pages. If I click on play icon, you can see these pages already have some animations applied. I will remove these animations and show you how to apply these animations from scratch. To remove the animations, click on your page, then click on this animate, and just click on remove all animations. All animations will be removed from your page. I will repeat this process for all of three pages and remove all the animations. Let's replace these graphics by another image. Search for a burger image in the search box which is in a round shape. Remove the background of this image. For this I will go to edit photo and click on remove background. If you don't have Canva Pro, you can remove the background of your images by going to apps and search for background eraser. Open this first app. You can upload your images here and just remove their background from here. This app is available for free for Canva free users so you don't need to go to any other program or website to remove your background. Once the background is removed, adjust the image and other elements on canvas. Let's animate this text by selecting it and clicking on animate. I will use tumble animation for this text. Next, copy this image from the first page and paste it to the second page. You will understand soon why I did this. Change the position of the image and rotate it anti-clockwise. Adjust the other elements on the page accordingly. I will again apply tumble animation on this text. And type writer animation on this text. For the third page, I will apply stomp animation on this graphic. Now, let's add transition between our pages by hovering between two pages and click on this icon under plus icon. I will add match and move transition between these two pages and you can see how we get this beautiful animation for our platter image. We can also increase or decrease the duration of the transition from here as well. That's why I had used this round image to show you how we can create this amazing effect. This match and move transition is really great to create such effects. What it basically does is take the state of an element from one page and transition into the state of the same element on the other page. It's like using keyframes that we use to transition from one state to another and Canva has made it really easy by making this match and move transition. As you can see this yellow box behind our image on first page, it's on the bottom of the page, but on the second page it's on the top of the page, and you can see how Match and Move animated it from bottom to top in a really beautiful way. Now, let's create a color sliding effect between the second and third page. For this I will create a rectangle on my page and resize it to the size of my page. Bring this rectangle to the front so it's on top of all the elements. Now create two small rectangles, place them on both sides of this big rectangle and group all three rectangles. The two small rectangles will act as handles for this main rectangle. Decrease the transparency for these two small rectangles, so they are not visible on our page. Then place it on the right side of the page so it's not visible at all, but we can still access it using the invisible handles that we created. Now let's copy the same rectangle and paste it to the third page. Here I will place it to the very left side of the page, and again in a way that it's not visible on our page. Again add match and move transition between the third and second page. Set the duration of this transition to about 0.8 second. And you can see how we got this color sliding page effect between second and third page. Let's set the duration for the animation on the pages to 2 seconds so it's not so long. Click on apply to all pages and the duration will be applied to all the pages. Hit on play icon and see how all our animated pages look like. You can see our animation turned out really great. To download animation, click on share and download. So this is how we can do animated posts or ads in Canva. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like share and subscribe. Thank you.